uh, later on that day, I got, I got this book in the post, um, Summer Before the Dark, by Volker Wedermann, which is about Stefan Zweig and Joseph Roth in Ostend in 1936. And this kind of, I just want to read this little passage because it kind of echoes with that. Uh, uh, Stefan Zweig gets a, a missive from Roth. It's the written thing that Roth mentioned in his letter thanking Zweig for his friendship. It begins, on the day of the 9th of Av, the Jews gathered in the cemetery as religious tradition demanded. Some read from the Kinnam, the songs of lamentation. Every word therein was salty and bitter like a tear. Roth writes about the graves, the inscriptions on the graves, and about one gravestone into which the menorah had been carved, which signifies that under this stone were rotting the bones of a Jew, who had once gone through life with a wise heart, careful hands, a lucid mind, a sure tread, clear-eyed, had felt the world, thought it, understood it, seen it, and walked all through it. He had been a true light in Israel, which is why the candelabrum lighted his grave. It is also a text about the touch of pain felt by the congregation as they watched the ninth day of Av slowly draw to its end. And he concludes, people were already closing the books, already beginning to think about their departure. Suddenly they heard the soft, melancholy creak of the old cemetery gate. Who might have left or come? The gate had been closed. Thank you, Sophie. Um, I was in this... No, I'm going to go to the park cotter. I was like, I'm going to go to the horse doing hacked and shaw. I'm going to go to the show. 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 Been masked on the cure, it was even in the faculty or in Scotland. Now, she knocked another tag, she knocked a cacker so cork, a chunk of corky, cacker evenica, kerna, August doggy, corky the moon of finia, corky gan bea, gan chas the china, a journey shanra. Sorry, third corky, the cuts the free first in the new literary of the Gaelic, a shon of tuma, a shon of ruin, August the finia of the glue shock the inchi, August the nurse and tidal kina. Of Vonnie Michael David as a clue vligard strager. An oct by magic fechinch, or chacher corky, or as our fubble corky, part shock to show for the act to show, by Louis de Puyer, Limo Merkle, was he the glare of Askeli, because Thomas McCarthy, a leo, a merle. Uh, we, we, we will have poetry from Tom McCarthy, Louis de Puyer, Limo Merkle. We will have music playing in the background from Andrew Riley, who's uh, is 3A, or in Qatar, he's a magician. Uh, to fill a fiche in our mask, we have a visual poet in our midst uh, who's at the back of the, the hall, Margaret Lonergan, who's created these beautiful images which you will see. Um, <coughs> Cacher sa Corkach, um, Louis de Puyre actually has uh, a collection, Corkach, of his Dante Ella. Uh, it's a city in the marsh, it's a city by the docks, it's a city by the sea. Um, to sit at Slave Rivers, Keys and Docks. The first time I came to Cork, by the way, for some reason, oh yes, I was working on a book by uh, Greg Delante, who I'm sure some of you know, uh, called American Wake, and I'd never been in Cork in my life, and uh, so there was from this, and this was in the days before mobiles, and we were sort of ringing back and forth from wherever a hotel I was, and, uh, and wherever Greg was, and I'll meet you in such and such a pub, you know, it's just across the river, of course, at that stage, you know, you discover that, that can be very confusing in Cork, I've never been here before. And, Greg, I'd be in such and such a bar at five o'clock. I would arrive at the bar at five o'clock and um, talk to the barman. Are you Liam Carson? Are you looking for Delante? Yeah, well, he's just going to the pub across the road, you know. So uh, if you go over there, I went over there and uh, Greg had been in there, but he'd gone on to another pub. And I, I don't know how many pubs it took before I found him, but I found him eventually. Um, we're going to, uh, Liam Merkel will be reading tonight. He's a novelist, a poet, a prose poet, an essayist, a dramatist. Um, He's just published a marvellous uh, novel on Colin Baum, which is set between Ireland and France. There's a, uh, Liam is an international poet, there's Chinese influences, there are French influences. He's very interested in post-colonial poetry in Africa, Afro-Caribbean poetry. Um, he's, as far as I'm concerned, one of the greatest poets in this country. 
So we're very honoured that Liam is here with us again. Uh, Liam and Louis, by the way, who are both here tonight, um, are also part of another show that Emma was produced by Sean O'Riordan, Mafan Grinka, which uh, looks at the diaries and the poems, and again has music and imagery. Um, Louis has just got a new bilingual collection after coming out, The Brindle Cat and the Nightingale of Gaines Tongue, which is to be purchased outside in the lobby. Um, he's worked with a lot of musicians over the years, including Ronan Brown, uh, John Spillane, and uh, Nasreen uh, Al Safdi. He's a remarkable reader of his work. Talking about O'Riordan, who's, who will be a presence here tonight. There will be p people who are not on the stage tonight who will be presences. Um, Louis, when he was talking about O'Riordan, said O'Riordan was electrifying, and we liked him as much as we liked Thomas Kinsley and Nemo Flaherty and Frank O'Connor. And Toria Hiermada of his Grania was as strange and compelling as Shakespeare. Uh, Tom McCarthy um, is the author of a number of wonderful collections, including The Last Geraldine Officer, which takes us into a world which sort of exists between an Anglo-Irish and a Gaelic world. There are ballads, there are recipes, there are the 1940s Irish poems of Colonel Fitzgerald of Temple Morris House. Um, in Mr. Deneen's Careful Parade is new and selected. There's a gorgeous series of lyrics exploring Cork City. We'll hear some of those tonight. Throughout what we're going to hear tonight is history and ghosts bubbling up from the depths of the Lee. Uh, Shim Gwon North, Raicha Ogham in Bridge Shaw. Um, so would you please welcome Cahar Sakhor uh, Gach. And first of all, we will have Louis de Puyer, and then there will be Tom McCarthy and Liam O'Murker. Give me the more, Agam. You'd almost in be a fellow, wouldn't you, coming to Cork for the first time? <laughs> And no, nothing ever changes, they said, sure, let the young fella go first. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to start with a, a poem by Sean O'Tuama. And um, not awfully long before Sean died, I sent him an article that I'd written in which I talked a little bit about his poetry and mentioned what seemed to me to be a very interesting change from the early poems, which are steeped in... Christian imagery and Christian thinking to the later points, which are entirely agnostic. And when I met him, he, he, he acknowledged that it wasn't the worst thing he had ever read about himself in his life. But he said um, that I had missed entirely the central preoccupation of all of his work. So, Kadeshin or Samisha, and he said, uh, roots, that everything he had ever done was about roots. And it seems appropriate to start with this poem in which he establishes a kind of a genealogy for not just Irish language poetry in Cork City, but <clears throat> an Irish language sensibility that extends from Daniel Corkery through to Sean O'Rear Dine and Sean O'Rear and Seamus Murphy. And the title of the poem is from, the, I think it's the closing page of the autobiography of Lady Diana Cooper. And it says, besides who knows before the end what light may shine. Maidin Gorum in Sigreg and Lachiet Squitigum Fe via mui bui a skilkig ite, mohurp er teha on rain. List go glean im cluish e comusk le lapuil hav na down. Time shiri on so savurhan, it er folly bon and tea. On tushka stoppen and piano, tron and vit and vir fem chri. Is queen im er lean e gabalia, a vi moor im chahir tra. Catter fair im chahirsha, a airy in Rome so tost. On Lishna or the Vuskushiat, the Yinisa Kimiltle. On Si a Hri, Le Gillen Tolish, a Garten Shanili. On Dri Squeal Cushi Kyoil, her Korra is the Vaige Fain Sutro. On Phila Kreite, Vunlig Nuas Kavoga Gailing a doing. On Dalavador, her Kocha Rinke in a Hanachiat. Phila Kyoltor, Dalavador, is Romp on Master Si. In a mask shoe, the har liasa, ni har loik she, arish. Maidin gorum in sigreg, an lechiet squitigum, a queen of erin lishna vi, shine on nawid danish. Anish on thound on rinke eamer, er gaine vio na tra, na kosa a chahav gahai feishach, is la den gno sa tas. And the second poem I want to read is, I suppose, in a direct lineage from that. Uh, it's a poem by Michael Davitt, 
which establishes another key element, not just the Cork City dimension, but the extent to which Irish language poets from Cork City have always had recourse to um, the Gaeltacht, and particularly the Gaeltacht of Cork Um I, I'm often struck by the extent to which there, there have been, over several generations, um, Irish language poets working out of Cork City, which seems a little bizarre in a city where it isn't really uh, a public language, you could say, and um, loath, though I am to admit it, almost the entire credit for that goes to um, the North Mon. Um, O'Rear Dine, Otuama and Davis, all products of the North Mon, and others who write in English um, but have an Irish language acoustic dimension to their work, um, Theo Dorgan, Billy Ramsell, um, Jerry Murphy, amongst others. Uh, but this is Michael David's poem, Eguina er Leish, Eguina er Leish Carna, Blasgeadach. Tra vir carti er board, croin is mogi te fe chinel, costina er clearing. Assel the mosanihe, madri tunnel gan via, is shanavan dum varu le gailing. Tra vir an chain tre shaffering, is not a via ramanic fashion strong sherry in an eachent harus of wine. Is not her she lay in the bra or old skull corkui in a night, and turgin, and cock a fair, and foosh gone. Tra prati is macerel, le lean and nuach de lard a lay, but vinica fieri mar nar of lurshuch a quid beerle, is daring Yeragoroder and maruichele, a dushkert nehera. Tra vir she in a dalav, a quino var a stare, er stray sheer a mach her he. A valle con an eline, a dire of. Is thou duking suus de freb to have heard it? Or wish a fond father a chlaire? And finally, before I read some of my own poems, I'll read a poem by Colin Brenach. And um, I have a very strong recollection of um, starting writing at UCC and attending workshops initially in English in Bloomfield Terrace, I think was where the English department was, and the excitement in the room when Colum presented his first poems in English. And there was an even greater sense of excitement when a little bit later um, he began contributing poems to Irish language workshops. And um, he's one of the few people about whom you could say, I think, that um, if he wrote nothing else, um, he has written material that will survive long after his own time, um, particularly a collection called Skoch. But the poem I've chosen is from another one of his principal themes and a sequence in which uh, a son addresses his dead father. This is Bochlustum Kor. Bochlustum Kor e Kantan Koshli, Glor Vaili Nagairi Asigre, Chnok Merm to Lydra Serinka, her ever is Eben Merchar Piano. Gorbachum an Inavan, a gluishuk of soccer, her lena glass. Is Gorbaum the Halle Elta, Ervala, Vale, Schle. Hast to ear the shay trehonut, le mash, la live ahargalat, her mohuling. A spine to kyol an illen needum, a kelur a treed an illen knee. Gurnig srohain, sruili an inching. Gurin fired, vovild and ground sheer glass. Gur yin lasrach a gauntry, the vlahu bui an atting. Be an owing in a dordan ishalishki, he sering rinnel, the eachan an ill in me. Nugur imig on de as a gyol, gur heltig on faun, tra naro shoni small. Lan an owing da shille shiri, lan on dordan gan vri. Trail hri na korn, na gasi a dull de grey shees. And uh, the next poem, again, is going to join in at this stage. So, um, did you miss all that because the microphone wasn't? Oh. 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 I start again. <laughs> is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So, this poem is called Korkach, and you hardly need to be told that Korkach is Cork. Um, it's an emigration poem and um, I suppose it's also a poem about Trech, about roots. Uh, my own father's family come from the marsh, um, from Henry Street, and I worked out recently that in, in almost a hundred years, 
most of the family have managed to move about three miles away from there. <laughs> so that's, we're still locked into it somehow. So Kirkach. She four fluch her French's key is made a tree of a reach on Malia. And heart ne chassef god lu le chagosan le board sihig builte le kala. Shanawin strakahe on monarchen dunte a scribe falle ne ke smite in her honig na franke gedir. Gahar Maguan is an owing a titamon spare, be fine at her hala, scurra da huila, trust in a strider or hach in a sochrida. Sklog vi be in vardish or dachta, a famine vrusker of ruch the niece of trofe here, is madri baita or dort hun shuil, a mali guil, her farigamach, a draw and fasage to hear. Ho clover le kishten, ho dien ach er ishke le bondun eishk. Nogar hit yor vur of ein er gruen af finoige. Hill tre squilt zaglinne, is kart har grehit sroine machaptin a heat gan chor zu sihan tosig. Rish na bwink tev hir da chwile mahar Ni chrechach galun stain an rai gav rish Tre fowls a virmament er ma chion baita Vi stuik in a aglisha is bohra eiring a luba Kriha is broint a mwiling a smitha Fali is lecach a sraida tur duha An talaf a boga is giran ail an fortig An uachter a rish an am hain Badalum, good dragging and hray row vog dar dihme. Saravashkvi and dor yernach as an gloch im lar. Saragahach an gra, a ha live temple mavanil. Dum haring chis, good toin and fuil. A while And the next poem is called Krohehor, the Creator, um, a poem about home. Um, I was actually in Australia when I wrote this, and uh, it always struck me that there was something in what Robert Frost wrote, that uh, home is where, uh, when you have to go there, they have to take you in, um, which means it's almost sharper, always sharper, rather, as an idea when you're not there. And that was certainly the case when I wrote this poem. Sar Eirik an av aidin an is a skibol dorache hees ser vohr na mo erme. Vi gob e na fogart an le, a knaga er scragal chapin budel vanya er lick an dorish a mo. Sar ghushig an tig as a huan re vreha, vi an daun chuhi feinike. Daun dia vuinte nor laur an a quinne, a yel goreig du dras queen a law. Nor doskal she and skunna, himmel and tishke smut fur lena bassa, lig lena hanga, a mera tira. Nor chas and buokara arash, lan sron hill and an oar a binke sa sink, agas kittel baskaha, a bakadil er an sorn, near a ve nig on locht sa tiksha. Vanig orish di scalpahede, miasa mogi a sufhopain, a guilai le hele. Gur lian si a meil le caloga rúir chob risk le fair shukahe le hí galantar a bhuil darain in ardam rúa agus te chó lider gur rithach luch ar vion chosa credaf har a ghrampl galach gan ba. In arda stáire i limbo na bilúris na blid fi cairtach a colla mar a vach olan chadaish tra tinnish na chluish. Dar is e bawr glór na sluis de bigge a scríobe úr lár an ghráta a carta lúa an leach o igas a machas a dig agus lá úr ach ar síos a cinn a chóir. 
Full of shade grey statica, a shade or hyon cone at Atlantica, a umra ver haunt on air, a derikevic, a saw lewing, grime shik she and vinicky of the cream, a her corkig, a gartlar and teal, a kindly or sea shall see hishton, she a tre, lashtis, da hire of. My din in ye gehele, marshin go brah, hulish sail or crohu as nan ni, marvier douche, martanish. Mar a veig of foil in eigen an chroe hora, nuk a moos gloig an cloggy as a bring loid here we. Uh, two poems together, and um, again they're on the theme of fathers and sons. And um, Seamus Heaney said a lovely thing, any number of lovely things, but one in particular that might be relevant here. He said, uh, Irish people should be particularly well placed to be not only in two places at the one time, but to be in two times at the one place. <laughs> and uh, this poem is in three times in two places, I think. It's called Tligini, and it's followed then by a poem called Furon. Confiding, ho soccer, a gunamara, good washing clean on if a gabula, a gloss and togali, la vila on dig. And Vashtuch, ho hatrum, Gumraham gear an oil maher, is a smitha, block on a aimed, a cool and tea, a gorkig. Vam on Gishton, a reinche of all her fain or all in aher, Tachtishtach on the inair, Saravoroche. Tashe dimly in a dish, is that aher, ho garedo, than a crecken fain. Invite him, ho sucker, go gushin she clinging ifige in agina vic, bleant of fado vile, or allish, go to ho in dientige, go foil. Tach the stachanish, sort of uroche. Tommy cool a camera, so fictur, sit a ervinche, so far for believe. Ishka gal a blahu, so vorong, or sort of goer a mach. Chandelier crystal, silent hinach, dienta, the glinna veo. Tamo huili krapaha, is malava trasna, mara muinim dum, savonskai, kora dehil, drear nishigolaha. Edumacated Egypts, ersatu, gan haravat na bona, gan ska, gan vron. The law of a sheen to last year, Dean, Maravefa Savalia, Satrailsha, Darira. Tantair then a boy, a brewish dach, the spa sereg and adring, is made a year again derhach, the horsheer, le fuckwil gan vri. Talmairach, a ganyata, sneen, merahanga, is on law born a dull fui. Long the hollis the writer. Tashe lua fos a vuachi, ni ga boga a foil. And uh, one more of the same theme, I suppose, um, just called Late Style. After Edward Said, but um, style is used slightly differently in the poem as well. <laughs> Thank 
is fada o hien an grian tligin dan a boi er de gole o vlahi queen arigat the horn me pamaji the ha khosh kho trim the brush kibini the khna the dian of luha in the khawl risk the wheel a aklu fein reach the hontos Will she force a chastail, trash them lienta, the wean? Cahin be in shandin a deed, a derren. Will your splunker stray, or the huil laster, from me hands to hain? Is cahain of winning ling, a mask no meos no marav, a lushke, te, a gasfour, gan ua, gan frasura. That's the style of your hair. Ni himadig am dirhacht, quinnuliak, gabrach. Agus tani chan kriach nuul eish a gion sio, dan bil gra dar tidl brachtacha. Ni nan tiax beirla gwing so leh ni as beirla agus as gwaelinge. A maid of Dort Rilke, Dreer MacDiermut, Fin man a man a leha, a Hubishach oil of the Gne, Margot Brattacher Tatia, on Vidin Trish Nafele. Trish Nimrihercha Galer, had a Brattacher a following a Goni, a Huili Krochte, Sore, Oskun of Virginty Doite. Mirahrishir real and na is lu na some force ma freig. It could never be said of you what Rilke said, according to Hugh MacDiarmid, about the woman in her middle years who took in her looks like flags the morning after the carnival. After all our civil wars, your flags fly at full mast in the wind high above the burning buildings. They never changed colour, nor once faded or fled. Grimaldi. city in the south, red light of October and its various shades, sunlight in a passing car like a stunned moth on a theatre poster, the heartbeat of what has happened here and what's to come. Grand Parade, lights change in the street of the yellow horse. Green turns to red and keeps us waiting. We must wait in line as centuries waited in line to be tossed into a river, orange and green, 
Lawrence Levine against the light. <coughs> Roaches Town Road. The lights of Roaches Town from my study window. A bourgeois infestation from the boarding schools of the West. September of 64 and 65 and 1969, gym slips and football boots all wedded now, their adult lives like ragwort, yellow in the rain. Montanati. Suburb of the leaking roof and the saturated cornice. The city looks in at us through damaged windows. Shutters and cloud are opened. October threatens more sunlight to bake again our exhaust walls, the folded down valerian. University College. After the wrought iron gate, wrought iron bridge, I wander through the undergrowth of laurel and camellia, in truth afraid. I fear the 20 year old revisionist. The second year I was the cool bitterness, my own day queen and grow. Swans at the NMRC. Swans glide on the lee near the electronic centre. Their heads bowed like young engineers or priests over the sacred wafer of microchips. One breaks the surface with its beak. One adjusts the wayward printout of signals. Science flows between facts and surplus. French Church Street. We go the way of all Huguenots tonight, the streets on fire with the red glow of October. Unexpected light follows us, like a foreign skill with cloth. Red sails of early evening tack homeward. The very stars are Huguenots. Waterstones, Saturday night. We read the elemental odes of Pablo Neruda, five poets of the South. In my old book, a press cutting of Santiago Station, Chile, so far away, only rain with seven names, our unhoping sound weeps upon the windows of Patrick Street. Rock Castle. Kitsch it was then, kitsch as any castle praised in song. It stands by the river, dead drunk now in a new suit. But its floodlights from the roundabout meant I'd escaped yet again the congested floodplain. Tivoli roundabout. A three-car pile-up on a Saturday night, blue lights of a squad car and the smoky blue haze of Montanati in his mind mirror from the traffic of childhood. I must stall with this blue night on the roundabout. Particulars.
Tonight, I think about your flat in Sunday as well. The window where you worked at stories. The high window where rainstorms whistled. I wonder if that house was really haunted by a ghost that wandered from the dripping hall. Your little room was a story house of virtue. Simple blessings peeled from its walls. I could see them peeling when you were happy, humming the brown tunes of Randy Newman, or spreading pineapples on a grilled gammon. I wish I could remake that most particular time, the delayed action of toilet soap when you breezed past after an evening shower, your body wrapped in a black Malayan robe. Are your critical eyes in front of a picture, knowing it had missed what you were after? How can I recall all that new love had noted? The shape of boxes, the roundness of shells, the firm and lovely amber of your breasts, the rains that touched your glass, intrude now on my writing desk. that charwoman's only child rummaging through a box of gilded junk in a suburban room, his captive eyes easing into a world of surplus wealth, the images of two worlds warring in his head. In the darkness of an attic, his latest images, silver handled brushes with engraved designs, old smelling bottles and elaborate dancing cards, a glittering code of higher living. Later, he would fall from those heights to climb the real hill, to walk across St. Luke's to a smaller house. Climbing those same steps, I can imagine their cold living room, the last daylight, defining shafts of dust, dust and light revolving in a single beam. I can see his neat mother polishing, moving chairs against the wall, clearing the way for a night of resting, her heart lost to a waltz of tidying. Nathaniel Murphy in his sister's bedroom, 1798. When my sister ran away with Polyphemus Shea, a clerk from the Quayside Custom House who promised her a life of art in Boston, she abandoned her cherrywood escritoire in the cave of her bedroom. My father's gift it was, made by the cabinet maker O'Connell, like a buckle thief in Paul Street, I have removed the silver plate with her names, Letitia, Louise. My only sister, so dear to me, as far from her native Irish kingdom as Mr. Singleton Copley is from the keys of Jacobin, New England. for you, Miss Callanan, a ring so delicate, it would feel as thin as bridal lace. Monsieur Bion and Monsieur Latouche became for you rivals both, the way merchandise and love become rivals in a busy marriage. 
the Serbino's delicate work I chose as worthy of your gifted hand. But today I searched high and low from Drawbridge Street to Bowling Green for the ring that embedded, embodied how I feel. My gift was lost in a, gre in a gregarious moment because I was drunk on wine from Puyak. I cannot tell where the package fell. Tomorrow I set the silversmith to work again. A new ring to celebrate you, knowing full well nothing as delicate by Bion or Latouche can ever be assayed again. He thinks of the meaning of constant happiness, 1807. You wait for me against the marble portico of the Cork Library. Rain sparks about your parasol, the way flints ignite what is tinder dry. Heavy drops become grey flares, as if the assembled ships of East Ferry and Loch Mahan had heaved too to celebrate you. You stand in their grey regatta of rain and turn to greet me with an owner's love, the way ships have an owner, or valuables held in secure bond. You walk, Miss Callanan, with the tall grace of your mother, a tall raven of the Corbins. I think of the love between us, a persistent bird of fair weather that survives rain and all the other elements, even time that takes the bond of books away, time that shields us like a parasol. is a 12th century text set in Cork and the main character is um, Anair Macondlin who's um, a 12th century dropout from college in Roscommon he packs his satchel and arrives in Cork in one bound and he insults the uh, clerics of Cork who are to provide lodgings and um, they condemn him to death they're going to hang him on the green but he uses his guile and uh, his wit and he survives and then he uh, gets involved with Cahal Mac Fionnrine, the king of Munster who's got a demon of gluttony in his gut because of unrequited love and uh, and Erma Condine, uh, composes poems on food to get the, um, the demon of gluttony out of the king's gut succeeds is reprieved and that's the end of the story but it's a uh, it's a great it's um it's set in cork it's got a cork feel to it and it's there's a cork meanness about the monks as well you know? um, uh, he, he, got, he got it very quickly but um, i i i've been looking at um Macondlin for a long, long time. But so I, I, I start with um, two two pieces from uh, Macondlin's vision, and um, uh, the first is uh, Versi Spagna. I'll read uh, translations of these. Versi Spagna. Escolog esse Macondlin, dia com o morvão no round, dentro 
dance around and around, dance around and unwound. Karki mutlak bin, gust a kind of, kind of a gran, kan beer, kan gram. Kaprach ni velinche, a kan gram and gusta. Kohan kashke karki, kohan karki kashke. Bershlatan tron a vanish le da ave. Maig a velache shne a skloig mushkil. Sparring in verse. Brother Monk says Mahundin it. Let's spar each other in verse. Let you bake one with a crust, and I'll make a saucy verse. The bells on the city hills ring sweetly on a barren bottom of gravel, mud, and sand. There's not a bite in this land. To take a famine scourge to eat its crawly porridge, a cup of mouldy cock oats, a cork cup of doughy oats. And get rid of that stale bread you tried to leaven with prayers, better famished than dead, and you mumbling over crumbly layers. Ashling a chnuk rare. Ashling a chnuk rare, mohol facht le bert nu tsur, gavakani on tach for lawn, as a long lawn the chahu. Gavaka and Loch Launcht a lor ma vya veen, Gavaka and Tach or you will on a gastier than in. A noldum more himpler, Gavirin Hro, Marog er no no veru vi and ach scolo, a ha orsen vogarine a hor the grot is in, Coachin of the Vlonog Waffer, Skier omui the harsh lean, Fill a gumper the station. The vogue vehel malach mean, fir na holdo ev gail ring, gach kasha e gach fardiv. Kile rovur sokamish, bralum dolan ghair, lete ron van vilchan, laster by na long gbiel. Tach bagu in dal tevan, kail och steg a choh clown, kuchen via bavale dinne darlum, via dar ille an. I had a vision last night. I had a vision last night as we were out and about. I saw Sir Loin's steakhouse built to food and juicy roasts. I saw a new milk lake frothing beyond in the plain and the marbled house of steak with a touch of butter and cream. I went up close to have a look to see how it was built. Every scallop in the butter patch was a pudding, newly cooked. The doorposts were set custard, the floor leveled with curds, Couches of lard to rest the knees, knobby shields of pressed cheese. Warriors under those shieldrums of beastings, soft, rich and yellow. Men who wouldn't spear another with their shafts of mellow butter. A bubbling vat full to the brim, I loved to hear it simmer. Wholemeal flakes plop plopping in the steaming cauldron's glimmer. Bacon rafters with farty struts, flesh meat purlins to feed a host. I had a vision of cornucopia in an elementary house. So um, sets the tone really. My own, my own. I grew up in um, in the South Parish in Cork City, in a street called Douglas Street, and I found it a very rich place to um, to, to grow up in, and it's been a template for my imaginative life, I suppose, ever since. Um, Frank O'Connor was born there, as we know, and. Uh, but down the street from us was Joyce's Alley and Dunbar Street in the Pope, the, uh, there was a, a text called Parliament, uh, Parliament in the Man written in a popish mass house by Red Abbey. And in the next street, Paddy Galvin lived in St. Mary Street. Behind us was an old graveyard where we played hurling as well as down the laneways. But the central part of the, um, of the whole parish, besides the synagogue which was closed, the, um, the caretaker of the synagogue used to drink in my mother's pub, but um, the central core of the whole of the whole uh, parish was Lunham's uh, Bacon Factory. Uh, when I was a young fellow, um, uh, we used to celebrate St John's Eve uh, every year. So when I was starting to write, I, I found that I needed to give expression to uh, the voices 
of the people of the parish, as it were, but their internal voices as well, of course. So I wrote a verse for voices called Tinachnov. Some, some of it is scatological, to be honest, but uh, not all of it. But, you know, I probably need to do it at the time. And I found, in a sense, that a text like um, uh, Mahonel's text spoke more to me than much else. I thought I grew up in a medieval society in the 20th century. So anyway, this is part of it. I'm not going to read it. The translations will be up on the screen. So, Shlucht the Hainas to the Chnav, Trach, Trach. He sicked off in the Gapel of Honey and Virgi Ryan and his hard Joe and Bush Day. Harder after and shot in his Lohis Law, Agus and Shalavween, the Cream, and Vinrav Srida are renewally hated than Okaid. Who was the mass in the young talk, love the place in the ball? He ruskum randy the cushion, either Virgi, Agus Fard do Vogue. Virgi. Tommy Hound seen the Hale egg and Umrka cider, the pack call and the tow. Is a meadach a tide. Thus, Louise Mohoselesher laps a relic, he held over a shoe, Agsays a telic. The Vrahas are douche, Marval the Prosh, a pump oil and hurt, as Gavine boss. Nishni have a mission, Marheel and Unora, Achenin of Ustera, Vinegar and the Fiola, Proving in Wicked, Tanga and Lay, Kishkini, Rostel, Crehe is a. Lenem to bar the master son of Vishini Blasta, Shinid Mahal, being full and Maholta, or Vidan the Hehe, a manager in the Fiola, Hilimsham Krusta, Achnor a dip pack hollow, posting of them, the Radshay Ladish Dak Ferkunum, Stradas, Marvuk, the sauce of Mukka Maru, and Lunum's sorted, Achinisel Homolan Mahola, Derbshalif, Gorview, and Brian Fuller. Crum Dove appears in the South Parish at the uh, bonfire. Uh, Crum. Uh, so Crum. Shlucht the Dolas to the of Crum. A fabul and frost has a green mahagan chaim. A steed glimpse of Tamil Garrett or Doyle, a nom of the vine. Misha Fuinif. Quinte and Thiolo, and Tal of May and A. Var, be some hoster in the he played Kirch the mask bomb as far. Chedim Shasigni, the yen of his filihar nash sikre, then a curdim law to her douche, rud no ho, fum hain. Holy Shafam should father you say, Machta Fus Natiri, got Huicha, Mishes and Tar of Willie, Grog and Sun Meshinte, Ni Hal Givir Vam, Askeel, a Humudor Fado, Ni Vuel is Ni Vayan and Lava Nochter or Crum Gudo, Misha Hohin and Gas and Fev, a Vahin of Osner Talov, Ormson Hagan and Va, as men dear Thraum and Yea Gabbag, Be Mound and Ann Rarkurum, a Brahman and Okaid, Be Malah had his raw Erkurum, Gone Pay Crook, Tata Stall, Needham Gogh, Tom Shasavoch. Kolyamuch le delev no re, es me bivia gna talun talun ha gadain sikre. Es shivshe mishe down te kele, es mishe shivshe ein rein. Ni hene me es me gachene, es me ansair agus am dair. Ni loite food and down na tugm she shala eganon. Bi me gemach dat me vule de hir fan me sokker no de chame. Es me an skal gireine an rush rihe an rauch te fool an valaud. Onsa a lienan as a frown gachtid, as men knasu queen, garab no low. Neil Aring Vio na gown team, Shkia Hussan to mere gachar, as men shield her and de her richtenach, and no hell o, and tear two and law. Fogshaw from a woman right to come as Kuram, Moran, Tinter and Fos, shall live in a shavine a temple, Shach Muli Drift and a dinachna. That's a mehis and temple dienta her nash and kriha cho, Gorbas me fain, Masha, Nivagri of a god on law, Labi Maung Minik, a ganist and so. Louis referred to earlier on there about the idea of um, about, about the North Mon and uh, Irish language writing coming out, coming out of Cork. And I, I was a Southsider and um, 
It's a funny thing. Um, I, I think that has more to do, in a sense, it had to do with, obviously, the education system, but as well as that, I think there's an atmosphere in Cork. There was an atmosphere, I, I could sense an atmosphere of the country culture uh, coming into the city and the city culture the city culture absorbing that, that uh, country influence. I, I've never experienced it anywhere else in Ireland in any urban environment. I don't, it's to a certain extent in Galway City, but not, not in the same way. And anyway, Galway isn't as uh, uh, advanced as a city as Cork is, but <laughs> the, um, <laughs> not, not, not disparaging. <laughs> there were more wealth of people coming into Galway City than there would have been to Cork, but, I think it's, it, it's a complex thing. Um, I've thought a lot about it, uh, and I think it's a question of economics as much as anything else as well. Um, the great butter market in Cork was a huge, huge influence. And when I went back to the Gaeltacht, I heard folklore stories about poets from West uh, Kerry and from Kerry coming to Cork to the butter market. You know? So uh, th there's a linkage there it's in strange, uh, strange ways. Um, so... A mind lawn is uh, the next one. It's slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse hurling in English, and um, you can see it there. It uh, was uh, actually Kieran Carson suggested the title in English, even though he didn't do the translation. And I actually dedicated the poem to to Louis Louis Le Poire, actually. So, a mind lawn. <laughs> Cabarn, the Batog, Salama, Agashinigamon to Og. Vimi Shah Shahan to Gimach, the Roharan or Kalm, Kalm and Tamlish, as Lahu the Goni or the Tabarn, the Sul Nashkirmish or Rod Av, Fultich, Bio. Dairyche, Anahum. Maru and Lay Hartis and Haman had soft and keen, a block oil of Machka, Skrad Bosch, a lawn of Maud, a swinging roshling a gat, the Tabain Glantus and Schlee, the Kuls and the Gathis and the Fali, Riki, a glash oil, the Rodi, the Grain and the Muckle, a seal of Fnach, the Puck, Cream, Deer Havan, a Stachamoyach, false, Gantacht. Ringy and inspired, call a ringy a ring eye or crew on the gaffle or a more father and baggy road, could he quit us a fort? Fiat, fiat of a man, and good non to count the meal of fool, soul, virgin, telegon, ringy, gold. Tron on a man, a salon, grammy and leave roy the bow, keep on. When it's a mock and lawn and follow, Knagasi Gunnet follow barn, being a rent dog and cool, the puckle, a ring oil, puck, 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 the blint, the fuck a leg and on Casa and Oscar, lawn, I was lawn in the hail, be some yellow cool and go down to town, as heligus lawn, lawn, follow, the lianton, fear for the round. It's hard to rhyme uh, extinct Cork slang in the Irish language, but there you go. It's, uh, I, I was reading, um, I was reading uh, the poem somewhere in Cork uh, a few years ago, and the only person that understood, the, who'd ever heard the, the reference to the word Lana was the, was the Lord Mayor uh, from the north side, interestingly enough. Anyway, uh, Barabody. In a way, like I suppose, What's, what, what begins as geography um, becomes something else entirely, some different coordinates, you know. That the geography disappears. Um, the Lawn and Tamlish is, is a, it doesn't, doesn't exist anymore now, but it's here in the poems, you know, and it's become something greater than it ever was itself in a strange way for myself, you know. It's become more real now that it's gone, you know. Um, <coughs> But there were barbers, uh, Barabody. Yo fa eagle the muck on two de hard, Barabody lawn and tamlish, as the rag skiri in the muck or saw, till the gree on the fane, a dull her tarshach, who has dach. Strap we laher a crookee, hun fire for source, if the soil of the muckuka a glinunt, the found deal to steer we, a spear on long fear, cutthroat. 
Aber in Dingelisch, so Kreugen, so in Hinnelisch, Gehle, wir werden genügend voller, und wir haben noch eine Kurse, die dir nicht nur rühren. Mit zehn Wochen haben wir noch einmal wirklich fein, so ist noch Krube gut los, auch edle Stinne. Es ist wie du, Kinne, wo ich dir in der Strade, Kreugen, er Kreugen, er nicht in der Lauf. Allah, Kreugen, wir haben zehn Wochen, Hass ist, ich brauch ne hohe Fächende Stärk. Mir schlief und hohnere, und nur so ne Mucke Elle, es fahr doch für ein Wodi, ein Gobbemach. Chwala, und ich genuss doch, und ich sag's ne Lüge. Hurrisch, hurrisch mach, 